This is Cal from Dirty Weasel. Welcome back to the 2016 Skyrim Modding Guide. This episode continues retexturing armors in Skyrim. We'll discuss a low impact option for retextures, my mod choosing methodology, and get into a Midian born Book of Silence for armors. I'll include items missing from the Book of Silence, show you some needed fixes, and get into the options for the added content. We'll then wrap things up with a Nightingale armor mod. All right, guys, let's get started. We have a lot to talk about here. So, you know, going over all the texture packs for armors led me in a couple different directions. I looked at a bunch of them and I want to start off with an honorable mention first, and that is the Bethesda Performance Textures Armor Clothes Weapons by Gamwich. This is for you users that feel that, you know, the armor textures don't need to be all 2K and pretty and stuff, and you just want to have something that is low impact on your performance, but covers a lot of different things. Gamwich has basically done an improved version of the vanilla stuff. So if you look at it, basically it looks just better. I think that that's a good thing to notice. If you look at this, you can see this is the hide armor. It just looks nicer, and there's a high res pack on the left, and this is Gamwich's version on the right. It just looks better. Do they look as good as a Midian born? No but they are much lower performance. Most of the files are 1 and 2K. So that may be an option for you guys. When you look at the files, there's multiple options that if you just want the Dawnguard, Dragonborn, or the no DLC version, you get those. But you want all of them, all armor, clothes, and weapon textures for Skyrim, Dawnguard, and Dragonborn all in one. It's right there. It looks like a really big file, but it's really not considering what you're getting in all this. So that was kind of an honorable mention. I want to get that out of the way. So let's go into Amidian Born. And what I did was I started looking at all my references. Basically, this is the step guide, Amidian Born Book of Silence. And it gives you kind of a rundown of all this stuff. This link will be in the description. So you can come look at this as well. It kind of gives you instructions on these things. And it's a good thing to read. Now, when we do some fixes later on, it will give you information on those on how to go through and do this. And I think you should read this. And then I went over to Neil Valen, and Neil Valen does the Skyrim Revisited Guide. Uh, also on the step, I will include this as well. And he goes through and lists a bunch of Amidian Born stuff, and he gets down the Book of Silence. There's full mod instructions. This is his personal choices. When you look at this, some things he does hide instead of none, and I kind of couldn't figure out what he was talking about there. So I just kept reading, and then he lists all of these others. Now these are basically slightly, some of these are basic slight variations from what you will find in the main Book of Silence. So read this stuff, but it was kind of confusing when you, you know, got into it because you then you have the content add-on and all that stuff. So what I did was I went through and pulled everything from a Midian born that had to do with armors and some weapons to see what was going on. And I went through and I compared all of them and I looked at everything. And basically what I got down to was what's <laughs> just to make it easy, what's in the armors and then what's in everything else, what's being changed, what's being added to, or were there any big improvements for all those individual mods that Neil Valen was talking about. Like I said, this is good reading if you want additional stuff like the steel armor. There's no change between Book of Silence and what the steel armor provides. It didn't make sense to me. So that's why I went through and, and just opened everything up and looked at it. I created a checklist of what's included, what's not included, what do you need, what don't you need. That led me to where we are. Good thing to know is read those two guides. This is the Midian Born Book of Silence. Uh, on the wiki step and then Neil Valen's guide, just so you have background on what everything is. I'm going to close these out because, you know, there's instructions on both and just know what to do. So that brings us to a Midian Born Book of Silence by Cabal 120. This is probably, in my opinion, the best pack of retextures for weapons, armors, and a few other things. And it is quite extensive. I would suggest reading through this stuff. There are extra things that you need to know, and it's kind of spread out in a bunch of different places for the information. 
So let's go into the files and we'll take a look. One of the things that you'll notice is that there are numbers of files here. And you have armors, creatures, Dragonborn DLC, the unique items, and weapons. All we're going to be dealing with today are the armors. So what we'll need to get is the armors, download that with Manager. The Dragonborn DLC, get that with Manager. Scroll down. For right now, go ahead and download the Emidian Born content add-on because we'll talk about that in a separate kind of subsection on these things and we'll go into it. And then under miscellaneous files, you'll need the bone mold, bone mold hotfix. Download that with man manager or manually on that. Go ahead and just put it on your desktop and we will install that separately. The Skyforge and Staff of Magnus hotfixes, those will come under the uniques and the weapons. Go ahead and get those and then we'll move on to the other mods that we will need. And the next one up is a Midian Born Imperial Light and Studded. These armors were not included in Book of Silence. So there is a separate mod for that, 50887, once again by Cabal 120. And you can see it's the two types of armors. You have the one with the little chainmail shoulder piece and then the one without, all right? The leather, all leather piece. So just be aware that was not included in Book of Silence. Let me show you where the files are on that. So on this, this is the 2K version. This will match the resolution of all the ones you find in Book of Silence. You have the 4K version, which I don't recommend. And then you have a 1K version, which I ended up downloading because I found it just fine. And you know, I don't really look at Imperial Light Armor all that closely. So make your choice, either in my recommendation, either the 2K download with manager or the 1K download with manager. Emidian Born Stormcloak Officer Armor. That's what you get. So this also was not included in a Emidian Born Book of Silence. So you'll need that one as well. So you can go ahead and take a look at that. Basically go to your files. It's the same sort of thing. You have the 2K with 1K boots, helmets, and gloves. Then you have the 1K low resolution and a 4K high resolution or ultra. Ultra. Mm. So this one, because of the level of detail on it, if you look at this, the level of detail on this, you're probably better off going with the 2K version because I found that while looking at it, it looked a little muddy on the 1K version. So that may be, you know, something to think about. The 1K, if you decide for this, don't feel bad because how many times are you going to see the Stormcloak officer in your game? It's just a performance issue. If you feel like you want to go with 1K, that's fine. Whatever you want to do on that, just pick one and download that with Manager. So let's go into Mod Organizer and we will take a look at things. Let's close that down since I don't need it to show you things. And we go into Mod Organizer. So the first one we will install, and that is a Midian Born Book of Silence. So when you double click to install this, it's going to open a faux mod, and it'll take a second. And there it is. I'm going to open this up because it really does benefit to have big pictures on this. There we go. And I want the other half to show you examples as needed. The first screen will be Install Cabal's Cut Default. I would go with custom. This gives you more options and allows you to kind of customize what you want to look at. So go ahead and click that and click next. Now you can see all the different armors here, minus the ones that we don't have over here. And we'll talk about that. There we go. Minus the storm cloak, minus the imperial. On these, you can kind of see the differences when you mouse over them. So iron with a little bit of fur on it and then some white fur on it. Whatever one you want, just go ahead and pick, and you can kind of see the differences, okay? So I chose the vanilla cut because I like a little bit of fur on it, but I thought the white fur was a little bit too much. Steel also on this, you have just the default vanilla style, then you have the one with white fur, and then you have none if you do not want to have the retexture. But make your choice on this. If, same with goes the armor. If you don't want any retexture on that, don't include it. 
but I thought the steel was fine the way it is. Steel plate, there is no option on this, just click it. Leather, just click it. Hide and studded, you have hide versus cabal's cut. I thought cabal's cut looked really nice. You'll see a lot of bandits wearing this stuff. So I think you know having the really nice one may improve your game. And uh, I thought it was a little brighter and more vivid than just the normal hide. Let's go and click that one. Or whatever one you want, whatever you do. Fur, no option. Elven, you have dark, which is the default version of a medium born. Then you have gold. So you can't really see it too well in the pictures, but gold is what they wear in the vanilla game. It is high res in a Midian's version and looks quite good. And if you want the more sinister dark elves, if you're playing them all to be evil, click dark. I like the dark. Dwarven, yes. Ancient Nord, yes. The Dwarven, I, I always like the Dwarven on this. It looks just so good. Orcish, you have Orcish and then Bright. I thought the Orcish should be a little bit darker on that, so I was fine with that, but you can make your own choices. Scaled versus Bright Scaled. Once again, lots of bandits wear this stuff. I thought it looked quite good on the brighter. Wolf Armor. This is basically your companions, your companions guild. So brown fur versus gray fur. Uh, you can see brown fur is on the left picture and gray fur is on the right. I thought the companions needed to be in gray fur. It just looked better to me. And that brings us to glass. And you can see these pictures don't really change for the most part, and you, there's no good thing. So I went ahead and took some pictures, and they'll be on the right while we discuss it. You have basic three options on this, golden, steel gray, and thalmorized. Then you have variance. Variance is basically, when you click on this, it's going to, and it says it up in the uh, left-hand side there. You can see this option adds two new armors to the game, thalmor glass armor and steel glass armor, there are two SPs to choose from. What that means is that it will be adding both variants to the game. If you're just looking for a retexture, choose one of these. If you're looking to add them into the game and have variants, choose glass variants, but you'll be getting an ESP. If you're just looking for retextures like me, choose one of the three up here. I chose steel gray. I thought it looked the best for glass. Ebony, you have black, differently, golden, and silver. Once again, on the right-hand side, you can see the different pictures. Um, let's talk about black, golden, and silver first. Black had no real highlights on it, and you can see it on the far left. And then golden had kind of gold accents on it, and silver had silver accents. Differently is basically the same thing as if you get the variance version of glass armor. It'll be adding them into the game. Differently will do the same thing. So just think about that. If this is only a retexture that you're after, I would suggest go ahead and pick one of these and call it a day. I actually like the silver on that, and we'll go with it. And then blades and falmer. So there are no options on that. It is the only one. So go ahead and install it. Go ahead and activate it. And if we've done it correctly, there will be no plugins. There are no plugins. So let's go back to downloads and we'll go to our first one that we have. And that is the Dragonborn DLC. So like I said, it is listed under a Midian Born Book of Silence right there. Okay. But it is not its own mod page. Book of Silence Dragonborn, double click to install. Once again, it's a big file. Another faux mod, go ahead and open this up. And you have Cabal's cut. It basically is gonna install everything to what Cabal thought was right, but we're gonna go with custom. And next. Now you can see you have the different Nordic card armors, carved armors, you have black, brown and white fur, or you can have none. Actually, for differentiation's sake, I like the black fur on the Nordic carved. No real reason, just do. Bone mold, so you have the bone mold armor. We're going to click that. Acolyte masks, dragon priest masks. And then we start getting into 
these are actually creatures. They're not armors per se. So if you don't want to add, you know, high resolution textures to these creatures, I would leave them blank. It's going to get up to you to whether you want to do that or not. There is one special thing we will show you is that I'm going to click them all for right now so you can see that fix. If you do want the ash spawn, this becomes very important, the fix that we'll talk about in just a second. So go ahead and, and install that. Now it's going to ask you to merge, replace, or rename. I'm actually going to rename it. So go ahead and click that. And I'm going to put in, just so I remember, I'm going to put in DLC02. Whoops, 02. And what that's basically saying is, is this is the DLC02. Go ahead and click OK on that. And there's a reason why I do it that way, is that if I want to go ahead and make changes later on to Book of Silence armors, I don't have to go back and install the DLC2 for the Dragonborn DLC again. If I decide that, you know what, I want to have black ebony instead of black with gold accents, you would have to uninstall this, reinstall it, and then reinstall Dragonborn. You know I'm a big fan of merging, but I think this is the, probably the better way of doing it. Should be no plugins on that, and there isn't. The next two are both simple retextures of things. So I would go ahead and double click to install, manual. You can see it's textures only. Midian Born Stormcloak Officer Armor is its own name. Click OK. Now you have two options on this. You can either do the same thing and install its own mod, but I think I'm going to rename this Amidian Born Extra Armors or something named like that so that you'll know that this is some of the extras that we threw in. And anything that you have in this, you can just go ahead and throw into this later on and it'll overwrite you know, as needed. So on this, a Midian Born Imperial Light Armor. And you see that the Stormcloak Officer was right there. And the, whoop, that's not what I wanted. And the Imperial Light Instead Armor was right there. Double click to install. Go ahead and change the name right now, a Midian Born Extra Armors. Same as what we got right there. Manual textures looks good and merge that in so when you open that up you have on your file tree textures armor imperial and the sons of talos so you know they're all in there when you look at that you notice it doesn't overwrite book of silence armors because remember this didn't have them to begin with so you need that same thing goes with a Midian Born Book of Silence, the Dragonborn DLC, or DLC 2 as I call it. It does not make any changes to Book of Armors because it's not in there. All right, so remember there's a couple of fixes we need to do on this. Go into your downloads. Go in this bone mode hot, hot fix that we talked about that you download to your desktop, right? That you download manually. Go ahead and drag it and drop it into your downloads. Double click to install on this, and you can see we need to change that Go ahead and change that to a Midian born. Exactly the same spelling here. There we go. I think that should be it. A Midian born Book of Silence DLC 2. There it is. Manual. We're going to set data directly on top, data director on top, and textures. All it's doing is fixing the textures in that bone mold armor. Click OK merge it in and that's done that's fix number one fix number two double click come over to your file tree textures actors dlc2 ash this is the problematic one this has been named incorrectly if you go back to the step guide on this it'll give you these instructions that's what I was talking about. What you need to do is highlight it, right click, rename, Ash Man. 
and you're done. So that's fixed. Now all the stuff in here will go to its right way. All the right stuff. That's the Ashman retexture, the uh, creature retexture, and go ahead and close. That's all fixed. Now we can move on to the other armors we need. We got that. We are just going to cover one last thing, and that has to do with the Nightingale armor. The Amidian Born packs, none of them redo Nightingale armor. And I'm sure a lot of you thievy type guys want to wear that cool black leather armor. And this does not contain it. Amidian Born does not contain it. Gamwich's Bethesda Performance Textures does. It looks pretty good, but like I say, it is not high res. So my choice on that, after looking at a bunch of them, was the most popular on the Nexus. And in my opinion, the best. Nightingale Prime HD. That is really good. And Ancient Vampire and Zero Frost did it in his 28899. It looks really, really good. I, I don't play a lot of Phoebe type Nightingale guys, but I felt if I left this out, you would crucify me. So there's that. It looks really, really nice. There are two files to look at, and it is the Nightingale Prime HD and the Nightingale Prime HD leather version. On the right, you can see a picture of uh, Fiona wearing it, and it looks better indoors. I'll add a little lower light. It makes it look a lot better. Now, there's one main thing to know about this. Download whichever one you want, and we'll go into Mon Organizer and take a look at it. When you double-click to install, and you hit Manual, you will see data. You can right-click set data directory on top, and you've got meshes and textures. Here's the thing, is that textures is what we want. If you were to install the meshes on this, it would overwrite UMP female armors. Let's just take a look at it, and I'll show you what I mean. It is now overriding UMP female armors. So you will not get the correct body. The picture you saw with Fiona is using UNP female armors. I'll tell you, show you how we did that. Let's go and re reinstall the mod. Looks good. Manual, set day directory. And all we did was unclick meshes. So all we have are the textures. And it looks perfectly fine. I did not find any glitches with it. So it just mashed itself right onto the UNP body. It looks really good. Go ahead and click OK. And replace it. So now when you look, it is no longer writing, overriding UNP female armors. So that's the correct way of doing that. So no plug in on that, you're ready to go. We will go ahead and go through and just reset things. I'm gonna talk about the content add-on. So I'll be right back. So this is, has to do with the variance thing. And we're gonna show you how to install a Midian Born Book of Silence using the variance. Double click to install and let it load up again. Make sure the name is correct, Armors. And go to Custom and Next. And just scroll down through this thing and make your choices or not make your choices. I'm just going to scroll down and just focus on the two things we need to know about. And that is the Thalmorized Glass Armor and the Differently Ebony Armor. So that's what you got. So when you click install, you can see definitely ebony and thalmorite. Oop, variance. That's what I want. Variance, not thalmorite. Variance. Differently ebony. Go and click next. It's going to give you two options on the type of ESP that you're going to get. If you get lore friendly, thalmor glass armor and steel glass armor can be obtained in any ways, but only high elves can craft the thalmor glass armor, and only Nords can craft steel glass armor. Versus the standard, which is basically anyone can do it. Lore friendly, that's what you're getting. Go to install. So let's take a look. We'll just go ahead and move it up above these, even though it doesn't really make a difference because they are slightly different. When you come over to your plugins, you're going to have two new plugins. A and B, glass variants, lore, and differently, ebony. So these are the two ESPs that will allow the variations to be found in the game. So you will have these things pop up in the game. 
when you do it this way, it is contingent. It is absolutely imperative that you run a bash patch because that's going to get this done. Now, if you want to use, try and use Mator's new smash patcher, you can try and use that. But I don't think that's quite ready for public consumption. So just remember, you will need to get a bash patch or these will not work correctly. So that's the first warning. So let's go ahead and we will go into our downloads once again. And you have the content add-on. This is basically the second step to this to make it all work correctly. When you double click to install this, change it to Book of Silence Armors and click Manual. You're gonna see this information. This is where it gets really confusing. So we'll go back to the Nexus and we will scroll down in the File section, the Content Add-on, Click here for a list of features and installation instructions. This is what this does. Book of Science content add-on by the AMB team. This is the list of features. It's going to include your Skyforge weapons mostly. It's missing some things. We'll discuss this in the weapons part of Amidian in the next episode. Adds the missing Skyforge weapons, mace, warhammer, bows, and arrows. Three types of ebony armor, standard, silver, and gold. Two types of Elven Armor, Standard and Thalmor. We talked about those two already. Two types of Elven Armor, three types of Glass, two types of Wolf, three types of Nordic Armor, three types of Armor, Iron Armor, and two types of Steel. So what it's doing is adding a whole bunch of stuff in here. So you have variations, and it's adding certain other changes. And that's where it got really confusing, because when you looked at... Uh, New Valens and the step guide, it wasn't really clear. So we're going to cancel this. And this is the thing to remember is in the setup that we have with closed face armors or closed faced helmets, you will need the content add on pack. You just will. If you don't run that, you could. Potentially, if you were fine with the variations in the armors of just glass and ebony, these are the only two you need. But if you want the options of having all the variations of things in here, this is the one you'll want. There are special installation instructions with it. You'll need Dragonborn. You have that. Weapon and armor fix is remade. This is a different mod, and you're going to need it. I wasn't going to cover weapon and armor fixes remade, but there it is, mod number 34093. And this is probably why I'm not a big fan of doing it this way, because now we're starting to get, well, you need this and you need that. Okay, but I'm going to show it to you anyways. So the requirements, like I said, Dragonborn, weapon and armor fixes remade, go and get that, install it, read the instructions completely, and know what you're getting. That's enough to say about that. Installation on this. Read these download instructions. Kind of figure it out. I'm going to show you what we're doing, but I want you to read them completely and understand it. Let's go back into Mod Organizer and we'll install this thing. Downloads. Double click to install. Change the name appropriately. Make sure it's the content add on. Click manual. And you're going to see a bunch of different stuff. Sorry, this is where it gets really confusing. If you're using the closed face helmets, which we are, right? It's right there. It's right there. You're gonna need this ESP. If you're not, you're gonna need that one. So just go ahead and if you're using closed face helmets, untick this one, pull this one down, and find a place to drop it right there. There it is. See it automatically populated right there. You can't tell the difference without hovering over it, improved closed face helmets version, as opposed to the non closed face helmets. But you can unclick that. When you get into these, you see meshes. This is the Skyforge stuff. This is the scripts for the Skyforge stuff. You need those. And then textures. 
A and B variants, armor, cube maps, DLC 2, and weapons. So you're getting a bunch of different stuff in there, and it's adding all those variations into your game. You'd go ahead and click OK. Once again, I'm not going to advocate merging this in because it's too complicated to uninstall it and reinstall it. Content add-on. When you come over to your plugins, now you have a medium-born content add-on. This is the version with, <laughs> sorry, this is the version with the improved closed face helmets. We need to get rid of these. That was in the instructions on the step guide, right? And also on this page, right? So we can either deactivate these, but you know, I don't like doing that. Or you can go into Book of Silence, optional ESPs, and move them up because this one already has all that information. Why did we add all this in? Because it needs to be installed the way it is to make it all work together. So with all that said, this will now run perfectly fine for you this way once you create a bash patch, right? Bash, 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 bash. I'm not a big fan of the content add-on stuff. So I'm going to remove it. I'm only after the texture stuff. And I will go ahead and reinstall this later. So I hope that cleared that some of that up. You know, a medium born book of silence and all of its accompanying retexture mods are fabulous. They are just structured and laid out in, in quite a way that you have to dig and hunt and know what you're doing exactly to get it all work correctly. We will also, in part two of this, means we'll get into a medium born weapons. We will also talk about retexturing or remeshing them so that they look a little more streamlined. We will also get into Dongard weapon retextures and a bow retexture mod that I really like. That's it for now, guys. My name is Cal. I'm from Dirty Weasel, and I'm signing off.